Hi everyone, it's Luke here and welcome to a very soggy Warren Classic and Supercar. Now this is the first time that I've come to this event, um, but the, the weather is absolutely torrential. As you can see, my slightly dodgy uh, hoodie jacket combination isn't really the most flattering thing ever. Probably got a load of rain on the lens as well, but I heard that there's some pretty wicked cars here. What a way to start the video. Two Enzos just chilling here, sat next to a matching LaFerrari and then a 250 GTO. Arguably one of the most expensive cars in the world. Just chilling here underneath the torrential rain. I believe it's also owned by Nick Mason, uh, which makes it even cooler if that's even possible. Um, but yeah, absolutely incredible lineup of cars here. I mean, there's cool cars and then there's cool cars. And to see one of these just as it is, is absolutely incredible, let alone covered in rain pretty much sat in a puddle. We've also got a pretty loud M4 revving just over the top of the hill there. But, uh, oh, jeez, this thing is absolutely insane. I've seen this car on numerous occasions now. The thing that Nick does with this car is amazing. He races it, he uses it, he takes it to events like this. And to see it, even though I've seen it multiple times, is still amazing and it still takes our breath away. Check yeah. this thing out. I've just stumbled across a purple Vanquish Degato Volante. Not sure he's really brought the right car for today's weather, but um, still very, very cool to see this finished in a stunning spec, dark purple, dark purple roof, and then like a dark tan interior as well. And then of course, we've got the gold accents on the wheels inside on their little side vents there as well. Stunning, stunning car. I just love some of the design features on this. These rear lights are simply a work of art. And uh, it actually looks really cool, all covered in raindrops. But anyway, I think, I hope the weather is starting to ease off and we can start to get a better look about some of the cars around here because literally it is just been tipping it down all morning. You are my sunshine on a rainy day. You are the one who takes my breath away. In the vast skies of love, I'm free. As long as you. So given the quite frankly awful weather that we've got today, there is still no shortage of cool cars. Check out this lineup of Bugattis here. We've got a one-off Veyron Supersport finished in Tiffany blue and full exposed carbon, which I'll get to in a minute. We have quite a standard original uh, Veyron 16.4. And then we have, of course, the latest from Bugatti. We have the Chiron. And to kind of take away the orange features, it kind of looks like quite an original uh, launch spec car, but it's amazing how much those features really stand the car out. We've got a bright orange interior, uh, chrome wheels and obviously the orange calipers as well and also if I come around to the back you can see it's got a pretty fitting plate as well check that out CH12 RON anyway moving away from the uh, flooded Chiron we have this Tiffany blue Veyron super spot I was mentioning like I was saying completely one-off spec um, unbelievable spec if I must say we've got the full carbon exposed body underneath all the raindrops and then the Tiffany blue uh, secondary color so we've got the air intakes the wheels the side skirts the front and even the interior I'm not sure if you can really capture that very well but uh, bright blue interior that's a win for me now this car was actually bought secondhand uh, it was originally owned by someone in Asia but it had delivery mileage on how can you spec a car this unique and not drive it uh, but yeah, it was sold through Rome's a few months ago here in the UK, and here we are. Absolutely incredible spec, arguably one of the best spec Veyrons I've ever seen. And it's also very interesting to see kind of the evolution of the Veyron. This is obviously one of the original 16.4s, and this is probably one of the most hardcore Veyrons that they had. But anyway, as I'm talking about this all now, we're having another downpour, so I need to go find another shelter. 
before I drown in a ditch. <laughs> okay, so fast forward a couple of hours, the weather has somewhat improved. I mean, it's a little less torrential than it was earlier, but I'm now here at the Lancaster stand where we have a cream 4 a take spider. I understand it probably looks white on camera, but um, yeah, so I presume it's some special order one-off paint. Um, it really suits the 4 a take with the elegant lines and shapes and thing. Um, but yeah, really, really special. And then on this stand as well, we've also got some other goodies. We've got a LaFerrari Aperta back there, 4 a take challenge. 8 of super fast, Portofino, that kind of thing. But yeah, nice to see that people have still come along even though it's been torrential weather. That's a sign of a true Petra head to me, but, um, but yeah, pretty decent turnout given the weather conditions, I must say. Now this must be the perfect car to bring to a car show when it's tipping it down with rain. Brand new Euros, I'm loving the spec on this. Really dark blue, although it doesn't have the 23 inch wheels. That's one thing it does need. Uh, but there's one car in particular which did uh, draw my eye if I pop down here past the new Continental GT. Really nice event store S there. Uh, but yeah, this 720S, let's have a look at this. Got some interesting stripes and decals and little rings around the wheels as well. Very, very interesting spec. Uh, I'm not sure if this is a factory done kind of uh, spec or if it's something done aftermarket. Um, but it actually does make the 720S stand out quite a lot, especially with the orange accents here and there. But um, yeah, some cool cars on this stand actually. New Vantage, uh, Performante, DB11 AMR, the new Continental GT I was on about, uh, and this really nice Aventador S as well. Anyway, I think I'm going to round up today's video here next to my highlight. This fair on it is just perfection. I absolutely love it. Anyway, huge thank you to Warren Classic for putting on such a good show. Given the weather, there was still a pretty good turnout. But anyway, I hope you guys have enjoyed the video. If you have, please do make sure you leave a like and make sure to subscribe for all the adventures still to come.